Hi everybody, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Fallout 3. Um, let's come on over here to the saloon. It is Moriarty's, it belongs to him. And there is other stuff over here. I'm delaying the game. Oh, it's Billy Creel's house, but it's locked. I could get into it easily. But why would I do that? When Moriarty's is right here. Um, hi there. Um, bye there. Ah, come on, you hey. piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Work. Come on, work. Wait, is that... Damn it. Radio. Come on. Why? Just give it up, Don't Gob. You I'm not going to kill work. Me. So, you're an interesting looking yeah, gent. You um, you, you seem to be sitting nicely a in the corner. Traveler, eh? Yep. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. Oh. Well. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Um. I need some details. I need the deets. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. Oh, snap. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Um, sure why not. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. Okay. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some... What's, what's uh, the word about town? That's I couldn't kind of tell you, quest. really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Is that so? What about a rifle? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is a rifle? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Uh, do you think your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Who is there? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Okay. Anything dangerous around there? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> No, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Well, I mean, you came from there. Presumably you know your way around it. Crime in it. Okay. I have to go. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. You dumb son of a bitch! If I knew it was gonna be easy... Yeah. Alright. Um... Hell of a day, isn't it? Yeah, it is, man. Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> uh, sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed, in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Me and her dead parents. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Snap. 
Well, you tell me about Megaton. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got this is to make a wonderful. Uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Nefroburg. What do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Yep. Pretty soon she's going to be old enough. She'll get her own pit boy and uh, she'll have a, a vault party and it'll be all kinds of cool. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? I'm good to go. Easy, man. Speaking of... Looking spree. The rest will cost ya. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah. Um. What are you saying about well, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm. Um. Look, if you give me more information and point me in the right direction. Yeah. I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk That's to Gob. Nice. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Mm, so, what's the story with the ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Colin? Why is Mordor so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Where'd he come from? He don't talk about it much. But apparently, there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. <laughs> Adam's more than my right a couple of times. But other <laughs> than that, idea. he won't really say. He's been here for... Oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. I'm sorry, Wes. This is... What the hell am I going to be asking? Like, hey, so you like having crazy ghoul sex? <laughs> Just, let's talk about something Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Um, what were you saying about radio huh? stations? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes. There are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Oh no, Three Dog, daddy. Uh, what's all this about Galaxy you News serious? Radio? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Hmm. Hmm. So, how much for a room? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps up front. Actually, I don't have 120 caps. Well, you aren't going to get very far with no money. What does it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. So, essentially... Take care of yourself, hon. In order to rent a room in this town, you need to hire a prostitute. That is... That is the good... That is the word here. Hey, Billy Creel. Hey, Gob. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, God, fuck, what are you? Stop, ghoul. Stop looking at me. Um. 
Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. You're not going to hit me, yell at me, not even berate me a little bit? No. It's like, there really should be a shut the hell up, I'll beat you if I feel it. There should be something in between. Oh no, my good sir, I will treat you even. There should be some kind of option of saying like, well, okay, yeah, like, you look a little weird to me, but you don't seem to be like, yeah, like, whatever. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Oh, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. He's all Honestly, Irish and stuff. I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Uh, if you know anyone else that can help, I'd appreciate Boy, it. Artie's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him, too. Oh, wait a second. Hey, Pearl, what do you need? Ah, <sighs> oh, where did you come from? What do you do? A place do? called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. <laughs> I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Wow, Colin that was a I can't different fill in line. Pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Oh, Carol. Um, close back out to Mr. Radio. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ Three Dog and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. What is the good fight, actually? But how about a drink? Anything for you, friend. I would like to sell you drugs. Hey, I'm going to get some caps. Um, i going to sell you this psycho. I'm going to sell you this vodka. And do you have any stuff that I want to purchase? Nope. I'm just giving you more stuff. Give me 60 caps. Nice. See you soon, drunkie. Hey, man. Don't hit me. <laughs> something on your mind? Um. Somebody just talked to me. Do you want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? Looking's free. The rest will cost you. That's, that's great. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. I you got the caps, guy. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. A thing of the past. Looking for me father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your saloon is a father, vault? His brotherhood a steel friend. And you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom. Truly. Well, no, ah, back life there, goes she... on. Daddy lied. Yeah. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Hmm, my dad told me we were born about 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. 
Another fellow All escaped. hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Hmm, a it nice lunacy assortment. better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Okay. Uh, look, I just want to find a. I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Uh, I don't have hundred cops. All right, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Uh, the waste lab. Hmm, uh, no anything about the air outside Megaton. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? The Megaton, uh, you know, Tourism Bureau. Fun times are happening again in Megaton. Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. That's lovely. What do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. Lovely. What's the word? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Okay. I'm gonna go. Don't let me keep you. Sure. No, I will I will not do that. And, uh, here's a highly suspicious looking gent in a corner. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Uh, uh really? Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this Megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Um, wait, you're gonna destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Um... Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Um... Too many lives are at stake. I'm not going to defuse the bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite... Oh, disagreeable. You're out of your mind, man. There's no way I'm helping you. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Hey there. Glad you're back. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm totally back. 
better than ever got a knack for making things better. Hey, this shack door I can go into, okay. Hey there, Andy. Good to see you. Um, everything else in here apparently it's bad news to mess with though, so let's get back out of here. You know, I feel like it's not that unreasonable to uh, find somebody that wants to destroy this civilization. Um, maybe somebody that I don't want to help. I don't think that's too out there. Oh, hello, little Goyle. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Um, why do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. It's true. Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. Because he'll put you in the walls of Jericho. Arden most days when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Harden? Who's Harden? Who takes care of you? I know who, but why not? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Except, you know, for... Bye, mister! Not actually being your daddy. Hey, it's a common house. Well, that's nice. It is a common house, however. Oh, and I can steal stuff in it, but, uh. I take ruined books, coffee pots. Ooh, instant mash, sugar bombs, fancy lads. Yes, please. What is that? So it's common house, but uh, I need to be careful not to sleep on the beds because that's immoral. I can steal things out of this footlocker including a metro ticket. Yeah. I would have thought the smart trip cards would have been the thing that survived, but uh that footlocker is empty. That is a megaton settler, but he's not a name person, so I'm not gonna go messing with him. Let's uh, become a refrigerator raider. Uh, as again, we are permitted to do so, so why on earth not? Noodles! Cram! Whiskey! Snack cakes! That's an empty whiskey bottle. Well, alright then. It does seem that if you were determined enough to go through this game and, uh, like, never do any combat or anything, if there are things that you could get through doing just by means of having money. There are enough little, uh, places where you can pick up, uh, Knives and forks for free. Seems as though you'd be okay. Who's that? And what did they want? Someone moaning about somewhere. Alright. Well, so, we've explored this common house. Wasn't it fun, folks?
Let's get back out to Megaton. There's obviously still locations that I could uh, go bounding around in, but uh, what? I was gonna do it. I was just looking. Gosh. Um, um, uh, Mr. Mayor. You're not Mr. Mayor. There's Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Um, I met a man named Merc. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. I'm tattling. He said what? <coughs> oh, I never did like the look of him. Um... What well, if you ask someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. Wasteland Justice? He's taking us the long way around. Out of the way, Wasteland Settler. We have justice to dispense. Out of the way, Billy Creel. We have justice to dispense. What are you there? Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Hey there. Hi. Not now. Hey there. Glad you're back. How are you? Hold on. There's You've made a grievous error in judgment. Watch your back! Yeah? Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Also, Tunnel Snakes rule. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? Oh, that's oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. Yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. Mm, what's the word around town? Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, um, maybe I'm I'll put that on the that. sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. But still somewhat likely. It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. Mm, know anything about the area outside, outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Whatever. Your actions. 
us. You will come to regret your actions. Oh, I'm detected. I want to not be detected. You won't get away with that. Um, he definitely has more than that. But whatever. Why you follow me around, Andy? What possible use does that have? That's Jericho's house. Oh. Still, I like the looks of that place. What with the pinpoints of light coming out of it and everything. Seems like a real nice home. My dad told me about how you're going to disarm the bomb. He gave me some stuff for you when you get it done. Who takes care of you? Well, with my dad gone, I don't really know. Dad always said that I'd have to learn to watch out for myself one day. Um, your dad's gone? I don't know. I used to like it. But ever since Dad, I don't know. There's oh, the stalls. Right they were in the Brass Lantern. I go there to eat with my dad sometimes. Doc Church runs the clinic. The confessor's a little weird, but him and Mother Meyer are always nice to me. There's also Moriarty, but Dad says I'm not allowed to talk to him. Um. Well, with my dad gone. Your dad's gone? Sorry. Good to see you. I've got to go find his dad's body. I don't recall him dying. I was. Surely waiting for uh Hello. Evening. Yeah, you need something? Nope, don't need to go in the restrooms. Fine, that's the back entrance. We need to go in the front or something. That what's going on here? Boy. Such work to get around here, isn't it? Sheriff's duster, sheriff's hat, Chinese assault rifle, and some. Well. I don't feel right about that. And yet. I now have a good weapon. Plus, I also want to have the door to his house, which is kind of weird. As Jericho's house. Hmm. Oh, I don't know about this, folks. This is not what I intended at all. How terrible. I'm going to make a new save. Because, uh... <laughs> it really appeared as though Luke Sims the little left before he was killed in their little exchange. That was a kind of strange old uh, situation right there. But either way, folks, um, 
I guess when we come back next time, I'll have to decide whether or not to go back in time and save the life of Lucas Sims. Um, this is Bobo the Vulture. Uh, this is uh, Let's Play Fallout 3. I mean, honestly, having a Chinese assault rifle at this early stage of the game would be really tempting. If it weren't for the fact that I plan on putting all of my points into energy weapons. Uh, so yeah um, thanks very much for watching uh, I'll see all you guys next time I may even stop playing here for a little bit to uh, let you guys catch up and uh, tell me your thoughts on uh, the ongoing adventures uh, bye bye for now though